Hello everyone, today we'll be discussing how to hydrate the wound at the end of phacomulsification cataract surgery. And the last time what we showed was how to remove the visco after IOL implantation. So the important part is remove as much as visco possible. Don't leave any visco behind as that can lead to a rise in IOP in the post-operative periods. What uh, I usually like to do in all of my cases is go behind the lens, remove as much as visco possible, be it a hydrophilic or a hydrophobic lens. I like to remove all the visco behind the lens. Uh, make sure not even a little visco is left at the end of surgery as that that can cause a lot of rise in IOP in the post-operative periods. So be slow, be steady, remove as much as visco as you can. And uh, once uh, once you see that uh, there is no visco left, you can uh, remove the uh, IA probe. After removing the IA probe uh, with the help of 27 gauge disposal candela, you can slowly hydrate the side ports. So what I do is after hydrating one port, I go to the other side and hydrate the other port. The hydration should be in the mid stromal region. And once the side ports are hydrated, go to the main port, uh, hydrate in the mid stromal region at one side of the main wound, and then go to the other side and hydrate the mid stromal region. And uh, don't go too much inside. Uh, hydrate the outer one third of the main wound. Uh, basically you have to hydrate the outer lip of the main wound and uh, don't use a lot of force, a lot of pressure as that can cause the uh, desert membrane detachments and other complications. So once you have hydrated you can go inside, you can center the eye well. At this time you can also use intracameral uh, moxifloxacin and once you have centered the eye well, you can hydrate the site. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much.